Usability has many aspects. Um, the typical ones are that the system should be easy to learn, uh, it should be easy to use, um, it should be um, efficient to use, the, the time to complete the task should be minimal, and it should um, prevent errors, so it should not be error prone. Yeah, you might be able to go through it quite quickly if you make a whole lot of mistakes, but uh, we don't want to make a whole lot of mistakes, we want, uh, we want to provide the user with as, as much help as we can. Now, a lot of that usability is provided in, in say, programming terms. Um, so the question is, what, what about usability uh, affects the architecture? Well, one example is if you have a uh, web-based system or an um, e-commerce system and you have a shopping basket and the person wants to change their mind, what architecturally do you have to do to allow them to reverse that transaction? Um, is, is it just simply a one-way thing or have they got to undo various uh, bits and pieces? So it's those kind of things where you have um, uh, long-running transactions that need to be reversed or recovered or something like that, which if uh, which they can affect the user experience, so it's, it's part of usability. The other part um, that matters a, a certain amount to architecture is to try and isolate the um, user interface from the main part of the system for its um, to be able to modify it much more. So whether it's part of usability or part of modifiability, you can you can argue. Uh, we'll treat it as part of usability. Now, the definition of the idea of usability depends on the user. Right? To a stockbroker, for example, usability means do what I tell you now. They don't want to be held up by a whole lot of did you really mean that and, and um, you know, definitions of this or that or something else. With some, somebody like that, uh, a professional who's, who's trying to get their job done, you can assume that they've been trained, that they've, they've worked the system and they know how to work the system, so the usability tends to be, let me get my job done quickly. To a beginner, uh, um, the, the occasional user, um, they're not familiar with what's going on, they've probably forgotten, they need to be stepped through, they want to ask a whole lot of questions and they need to be kept safe. Um, they need to be warned of the consequences of their actions, uh, they need to um, be able to make a mistake and recover from it. So that's quite a different thing. To a control system operator, so we're talking about the factory again, where we have, um, you know, some things can be, uh, can be dangerous if they're wrong. To them, um, usability does mean keep me safe and keep the system going, keep me informed of what's going on, uh, but largely do what I tell you. So that's uh, definitions of usability vary across different types of people. And the usability also depends on the user. Now, I have to acknowledge and congratulate Apple Computer because they spend an enormous amount um, of effort in, in uh, usability. And the, the user interface that they've come out with have tended to set both the standard for what usability is and the standards for how it's delivered. So the, the interface on the iPhone, for example, the touch screen, uh, tends to mimic what uh, Apple came out with. Um, but those kind of interfaces, those consumer interfaces, change our ideas of how, how systems can be used. Um, so, as same as um, a mouse did. Prior to having a mouse, we all used key, keystrokes. Now, achieving usability. Well, we separate the user interface from the rest of the system. Uh, this allows um, the user interface to differ depending on what, um, what the user interface uh, client is. It could be a mobile, increasingly now, it could be a, a desktop PC, it could be a mobile, a phone, it could be a, um, a notebook, notepad, um, and there are probably a few more coming up as well. Uh, so we, we probably want the user interface to be as independent from the rest of the system as possible. Um, we walk through possible user scenarios. Now this is where we have to identify what kind of thing the user wants to do and how we have to provide for it.
So in the case of, say, backing out a transaction, that's one circumstance. And we model the task separate from the user. So uh, we probably use a, um, a overall architecture of, say, model view controller or action uh, domain responder or something of that nature uh, as uh, the base architecture for this thing.